Why, yes, I have made fairy wings before, but we are doing it again. However, this time, these wings are not for me. They are for someone else. But I thought I would take you guys along the ride as I make these because I'm actually going to be using a different method to make these than last time. And if this is your first time seeing me or if you have not seen my previous fairy wings video, I made a pair of fairy wings out of floral wire and nylons and I painted them and they are glorious. However, this time we are not using nylons. We are using iridescent fabric and since these are not for me I actually put together a plan so I have this pretty well figured out aside from a couple of hiccups that might come along the way however you guys get a little taste of me actually following a plan and not just being chaotic I, there'll be a little bit of chaos it wouldn't be a dress me up Scotty video without some chaos and some unforeseen obstacles but yes, let me show you guys what we're working with, how we're gonna be doing this. First of all, the method in question that I am gonna be using was actually inspired by another creator called Natasha Rose. She has a video on YouTube as well about making her wings. And I really loved the idea of using a sheer iridescent tool fabric instead of either nylon or cellophane. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will also link that in the description. It's, it's a very different video from this one, even though we're gonna be using similar methods. Also, some things will be divergent in this video. First of all, the style of wings that we're making are very different. So the wings that the person that commissioned me wants are a little bit kind of like cicada wings. They're more of the transparent style and these are the images that he sent me that he was inspired by. Obviously the wings that he sent me are professionally made wings by people who work with plastics and these are going to be fabric, but I still wanted to kind of give him that transparent effect, but he really liked the idea of them picking up different colors in the sunlight kind of like some bug wings do so that's what we're going with I managed to source the fabric I first I tried Joann's that's like the first place I always check but unfortunately my local Joann's is kind of going through something it was both cluttered and understocked at the same time if that makes sense I ended up picking this up at Hobby Lobby which I'm not a super big fan of Hobby Lobby but you know it's the closest accessible fabric store I actually did find out later though that Walmart had it but this is the fabric that we're gonna be using now today I saw started on patterning out the pieces that we're going to need. So this is kind of what I, it's paper, okay, it's a mock-up. This is what I, I landed on in terms of shape. The other thing that is different is that instead of a U-wire, I will be doing straps. Let's get to crafting. Okay, so first step that I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna get the wire laid out onto my shapes and shape them out. Even though I said I had this craft planned out, I didn't think to go get my wire cutters and um, pliers before starting this. So I'm gonna go do that and we're just gonna cut to me doing this. Okay, bye. This is probably why you wanna get your wire at the hardware store and not at the craft store because at the hardware store it comes in bigger spools and um, <laughs> it won't come out as lumpy. JK, I'm actually gonna use this wire instead because this wire is a pain in my buttocks. <laughs> So this is the wire that I actually used for my last project. It is an outdoor wire, I believe from the hardware store. I think it might be for fencing, but I'm not sure because my father-in-law gave it to me after the whole hanger debacle. But yeah, after that, it was a pretty smooth process. I just made my shapes around my template and I made two of each. The only downside being that it leaves a black residue on my hands for some reason. But what I did to mitigate that was I wiped down the wire after I finished using it. And then just for extra security, I I ended up painting it with an all-in-one painter primer in a flat white. I was gonna use like a white floral wire, but I didn't have any, so I just improvised. Then I decided to add my veins onto my template, first sketching it out with a pencil, then going over it with a black Sharpie. Because this fabric is so sheer, I'll be able to see through it in order to sketch on my designs. However, I initially thought I could use one of those washable fabric markers that you get in the sewing section, but it did not show up at all, so I wasn't able to to do that. So instead, I just went ahead and cut out my shapes using the pinking shears. And I used these shears because I thought it would help with the fraying, but it did not. 
This is where the process really differs from the last time I made wings. I was gluing the fabric directly to the wire, so I would set the wire on top of the fabric and then I would fold over the seam allowance, add little dollops of glue and make sure to smooth it out so it's not so visible. This was a pretty tedious process and took a long time, but I just kind of popped on a podcast and did my thing. The hot glue gun that I'm using is a wireless hot glue gun and it is a lot smaller on the tip, so I was able to get into the little nooks and crannies and make sure I wasn't over gluing because those of us who use hot glue for cost play will know that if you are a little bit too uh, enthusiastic with your hot gluing you're gonna end up with it all over the place and it does not look cute honestly I'm a little bit embarrassed how long it took me just to get one wing done today but I finally got the material attached Lots of hiccups. It definitely was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And this fabric, no matter what scissors I use, if it's pinking shears or normal fabric scissors, um, it still frays like a mother. I definitely want my base to be smooth. It's not going to be perfect, unfortunately. It's not going to be as professional as I wanted them to be. And it, I mean, from, from here, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to touch up some of the fraying, add some more hot glue. I do use like a, a clear high temp hot glue gun, cordless, just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Although have to make sure I charge it between uses because it does cool down pretty quick but we're just gonna cut to after gluing all the pieces because I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all of this. So for the veins, since the chalk pen or the fabric marking pen wasn't working, I decided to just go in with my fabric paint pen and I used a dark gray just to start with to mark out my shapes. Since the fabric is so sheer, I just set my wing over the top of my template, but I did put a piece of parchment paper in between so that the paint wouldn't bleed through and get all over the place and ruin my template. And then for the thicker parts, I mixed up a custom color using fabric paint, but also acrylic paint so I would get the right color, which I think is fine. And I went in and filled in the little spaces. And then after I added the paint, technically this pen is not for fabric. It is an alcohol marker with a very fine tip brush, but I really liked how this looked. It really helped to intensify the lines. And then here I'm just adding some shading to the outside of the wings, the edges, just to kind of hide the glue marks and also you can kind of see the wire through the fabric so I wanted to make it a little bit more organic, a little bit more natural looking. Then it came time to assemble the wings. Full disclosure, everything that I'm about to do I end up undoing because it did not work because I do not understand physics. But I wanna be transparent with you guys and show you the methods that don't work in addition to the methods that do work. So yeah. Can I have some help? Okay, so basically these, whenever I, I would put them on and they have like the straps attached, it flops over because this is top heavy. So what I wanna do is make an anchor out of craft foam. Let's just use this for scale as an example. So I want to set the wings into some craft foam. So basically kind of hollow out a trench to set this into it to be flush so that this part will set up against the back. What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Can you? Can you? Yeah. See, he does this because I will cut myself. He handles the sharp objects. And, I, and, then, and then not only will I cut myself, I will also pass out and dream about Shrek. About right there? Yeah, it's gonna be like right in the middle. About right there. Did you want this plastic dip? Uh, no, I'm gonna cover it in fabric. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so it's not gonna matter. It'll do. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it'll do donkey. It'll, it'll do. do. I'm getting real close. Oh my God, it's dusty. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice shot. 
ASMR style. Oh my goodness. Beat the devil out of him. Yeah. And I just I'm just gonna hot glue it in there. Hot glue and then wrap it around. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put fabric around it. Okay, let's hope that's stable. Let's see. I, I'm hoping so too. You think hey. I should Oh wait, I just missed the stretch. <laughs> Do it again. Weird. Weird. Oh, you are so cute. Yes. Girl, look at her. So pretty. Holy crap, they're done. The only thing is they're a little bit wobbly. But at least they stay stable on the back. They don't flop over like they were doing. But um, I'm obsessed with how they look in the light. I definitely need to make a pair of my own. I'll definitely be using a U-wire for mine though. These are so freaking sick. But yeah, they kind of wobble a bit. And the wings are done. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? I'm really happy with how these came out. The only thing I would say is that I wish I could have made them a bit more stable. However, they do work. He tried them on and they fit and they didn't move around too much. He is tall, so he's probably not going to smack too many people in the head. And I just told him to be careful when he's walking around and when walking through doorways. Of course, I don't have them with me anymore. You guys are seeing clips from the past. They are now with their new home. After making this, I have decided that I'm going to make my own pair because I have extra fabric left over. However, I'm not going to do that in this video. You guys will have to keep tabs on my social media if you'd like to see the results. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and just all the places linked down below. Make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed this process and if you learned something. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you do that because we do all sorts of fun projects and adventures on this channel, whether it be thrifting, DIYing, thrift flipping, going to rent fairs, going to flea markets, and all the stuff that we're into. We also do a lot of home renovation decoration stuff just whatever whatever suits my fancy man so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one Bye bye